This video is sponsored by Rockland Flooring. Visit our website for more information. Most commonly found in vocational applications, especially on dump trucks, refuse trucks, and mixers, pusher axles are in the same family as tag axles when it comes to 6x2 configurations, where only one of the two rear axles receives power, as opposed to 6x4 where both of a tractor's rear axles are drive axles. Both pusher and tag axles are non-powered and can be liftable or stationary axles. The goal for both is to help the truck achieve maximum productivity by increasing payload and distributing weight. When deciding whether to spec a pusher axle for your truck, first things first, always consult with the vehicle manufacturer to ensure you're selecting the proper axle type for your application. Beyond this, there are several considerations in deciding whether to include a pusher or tag axle in a truck. Some of these considerations for a dump truck, for example, include federal regulation, the state laws including bridge and frost that may impact operation, the time spent off-road, the duty cycle of the vehicle, the weight of the commodity, the potential efficiency gained, and the maneuverability expected. Fleets who find that pusher axles are right for their truck's application often find that the benefits can go beyond added payload, manufacturers say. You might find a better distribution of weight, which can impact the service of the overall vehicle. Depending on your operation and business model, you might find additional opportunities to haul different commodities, given the dynamic way you spread the vehicle weight. Specking a pusher or liftable axle can include a potential for increased performance by the other axles, resulting in less wear and tear on the vehicle's tires and ancillary components. The vehicle should experience improved stopping distance due to the added brakes on the pusher axle, according to manufacturers. However, one downside is a less flexible turn radius. How much that matters depends on what you need the truck to do. For even more trucking and equipment content, head over to the Fleet Equipment site at fleetequipmentmag.com. Thanks for watching and see you next time.